What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you guys being here. For you that are liking the videos and sending these to a friend, I appreciate it. I can see that in my analytics and you guys are really making a difference. So I appreciate uh, the likes, appreciate the comments, appreciate you guys sharing this because it's really helping the channel grow and it's really encouraging me uh, to continue to make it grow. So thank you to you guys. Um, wanted to jump on and, and talk through economic profit. Economic profit is a super easy concept once you've got the mental model formed, but if you don't have the mental model formed, it will take you a while to come across this. Now, intuitively, all human beings know this in their gut, but unless you really talk about it and discuss it, you're not gonna really grasp the concept. So in economic profit, I'm gonna utilize my own business for, uh, for, this, for the purposes of this. I've got a tractor and land clearing, stump grinding, dump truck type of setup. Basically, I'm like the Bobcat guy in town. Now, in my town, there's a lot of those type of guys, but I do like the land clearing, ponds, ditches, stumps, tree removal, that stuff. Uh, I've got about 100 grand of parked equipment at this very moment in time, meaning like I'm not using it at this very second. Um, but it's all out, you know, it's all, it all goes out every week to some sort of job site. But I get a hundred grand. I also have my own abilities. And so, and I look at the business and the business may do for easy numbers, let's say a hundred thousand in revenue. And let's say that it makes a, uh, pays all of its costs, pays me, pays its fuel, pays all that stuff. And it makes 30 grand or 30% on its cash flow on its revenue. That's not bad, 30%, 35%. If I'm properly assessing and paying for the owners getting paid, you know, everything is getting correctly assessed. 35%, not terrible on revenue, 40% better. If you can find a business where 50% of its margin, nice business to be in. Uh, if you get more towards software, you can get all the way up to like 90%. Could be, you know, what, what, we, what we can consider profit. But is it an economic profit? So just those numbers alone, $100,000 business, paying all of its costs, 30% profit margin, 30 grand a year saving. Great, business is profitable, cool, awesome. But is it making an economic profit if that's the, if that's the case? And I would say probably not. So number one, what could I go make elsewhere as a employee? Like, can I go and make more than I can pay myself somewhere else? And my, are my skills valuable, more valuable to someone else? Number one. Number two, I've got about a hundred grand in equipment to do that with: the dump truck, stump grinder, tractor, uh, two trailers, uh, you know, another truck, the whole thing. So out of the whole deal, I'll probably have a little bit more than a hundred grand uh, tied up in that. Can I take that hundred grand and park it somewhere else? Invest it somewhere else. One example that uh, I just bought this this afternoon before I jumped in the truck here was Luke Oil. It's a Russian oil company. They got beaten down like it's fourteen percent yesterday. They got beaten down six percent today. Maybe it'll get sanctioned. Maybe not. But it's like it's like half off right now. So I'm I'm grabbing it. I'm grabbing some of it. It's paying almost a ten percent dividend. Uh, it's got a PE ratio like one to six. Just to give you an idea, Exxon's got like a one to 14, one to 15 right now. A um, little bit, it fluctuates a little bit higher, a little bit lower. But it basically, apples for apples, it's one third the price of Exxon. And it's paying, it's paying essentially twice the dividend that Exxon's paying. So I like it. Uh, so I've been buying it. But could I take you know, ignoring the risk of possible sanctions and like, you know, my political elites being like, Trav, you're not allowed to invest in Russia, you know, even though they've got amazing companies over there in the energy space. Can I take that hundred grand and park it in Luke oil stock and get a 10% dividend for doing nothing? Also, if oil goes up in price and value the next year, next 10 years, will that appreciate versus my capital, my, my stump grinder, tractor, all that stuff, will those go up in value? Maybe a little bit. Will they go down in value? More likely. So can I make? So we've got to account for that when you're when you're looking at an economic profit. We've got to say, okay, where could that hundred grand be parked at? Can I get interest or, or dividend somewhere else? Yeah, I can get about ten percent dividend somewhere else. If I wanted to play it super safe, I could buy Exxon and get five percent dividends. So I'm losing out five to ten percent a year by having that equipment, you know, in my possession instead of just selling it and just sitting on the cash. Uh, not to mention the appreciation that could go up. So we made that point. So besides the equipment that I could do something else with and my time, how do the numbers now look? 
And that's the big question. Are you making an economic profit? If you take all of the, the value of all of the assets and all of the resources at your disposal, cost of time, labor, etc., can you deploy them somewhere else at a higher profit. And if you can, on paper, your accountant might be like, you're, dude, you're making a profit. Good for you, you're making 30 grand a year on this $100,000 setup. But if you've got 100 grand in your equipment and you're only making 30 grand, are you really do, are, it, are you making an economic profit? I think that, that I think that the point there has been made. But when you look through business, and you look through any of that type of stuff, you've gotta look at, at the economic profit, not just the accounting profit which I think a lot of people miss, and myself included. I mean, I have sunk like countless hours and resources chasing things that ended up really being sunk costs, and I'll leave you with this. Sunk costs are non-recoverable by definition. Essentially, it is spilled milk. No matter what you do, you are not recovering spilled milk, especially if it was from an hour ago, okay? For the one guy in the comments, it's like, I can take a cheesecloth and strain it. You know what I'm saying? Like spilled milk is, is non-recoverable, especially as it ages. Um, that's a sunk cost. And so sometimes if you've got something that's not making an economic profit, you've got to assess it and, and really truly assess what are recoverable costs and what are sunk costs. Sunk costs you can't account for, meaning you can, you can certainly account for the loss, but you can't have it as part of your rational thinking. Uh, best example is you dated a girl for three years and the relationship is no more. Some cost, bro. There's, that is a non-recoverable cost. You might, as a guy, think that there's relationship equity there, but that's not how a, a woman's mind works. There is no relationship equity there. In your mind, there is, but it's a sunk cost. And so think through that when you're looking at your own personal balance sheet. Everybody's got one, whether you have a business, you're an entrepreneur or not. Everyone has a balance sheet of the things you own, the things that you owe on, your liabilities, your positive cash flows, your outflows, and you're really just trying to organize all those resources in a way that's going to project you forward onto your goals in life, whatever those may be. And so I'm actually currently reassessing my entire balance sheet, looking at this decade, looking at my macro view, going like, what do I think is likely to happen? What is probable? What is, what is you know, what, what are the possibilities here? And where do I wanna be come 2030? Where do I wanna, where do I wanna land at? And are, are all the assets and resources in under my control, helping push me forward, helping propel me forward like a sail, or are some of them holding me back like an anchor? And that that is the part, that is the hardest part to sift through. But that's what I am currently evaluating through. So again, guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking these videos, commenting below, sharing with a friend that maybe needs to hear it. And until next video, I'll see you down in the comments. Peace.